Come on, let's go outside do business. Come on, let's go. Jeez Louise. Go do your business. Good morning, everybody, and happy Sunday. It is around 8 o'clock a.m. Um, he just did his business this morning. He's gonna go get a treat and some breakfast. Steven is still sleeping. And we are going to get this Sunday going, and I'm gonna catch up. I haven't vlogged a whole lot lately. I just needed to take some time, get some things for work really done, and focus on that for a little bit. Um, also didn't expect that we would be in our houses like quite this long. So a daily vlog was getting a little wearing. So um, yeah, I'm back. Definitely going to be filming more. Some things are gonna be happening around the house, all of that. But first and foremost, he needs a treat. And I need coffee. So I need a treat. There you go. I think the first big update is what's going on in the dining room. And if you follow me on Instagram, you know that I was painting it. So, it's not that exciting, but I painted it. Now here's the deal. The sample I gave said Dove, the can says Grage. So we're not sure which color it is. Um, I still have to touch up the trim work. Steven's gonna help me do that but we are really, really happy with this color. Also, I guess the next update for the dining room is that piece of furniture is leaving. This table is leaving. I am keeping these two end tables. Um, this rug is going. I've sold all of them to friends. So all of the main pieces in the dining room are going because we have new pieces coming in the next week or so. Um, we've had our eye on a set from our favorite company, Our House, and we finally decided to bite the bullet. These chairs, these matte black chairs, are going with some of the new set. I'm super excited about it. And as things come together, I will fill you in. Don't know if I'm going to keep these here. Um, yeah, so that's the new color. Really happy with it. It's actually super similar to what's on these walls. This is slightly lighter and bluer. Um, so I wish it was a little bit more of a difference, but we're still really happy with it. What are you doing? Uza getting to be a CP's old man. He got a bath yesterday. He did not enjoy any of it. Oh, scratchy, scratchy, scratchy. Oh, scratchy, scratchy, scratchy. So I'm sitting down getting ready to meal plan for the week, something that we're all doing a lot more of since we're cooking so much at home. I keep it really simple. So I have this little pad from Start Notebook that just has my days of the week, and I'll write down what we're having each of those nights, and then I will also cross-reference the pantry and the fridge and see what I have, um, just so I don't buy anything I don't need and I don't waste anything, and I have everything I need. We have not been stockpiling food. I know so many have to be really prepared. I've really just been like buying what I need. It has come at a cost at some point not being able to find what you want. Um, but I find that most of what we're eating is produce and I haven't had any problem finding produce. And we're lucky that we've had some meat in the freezer for a while now that I just make do with and substitute out and make it all work. But often you guys ask like, what cookbooks am I using? I'll show you the four that I've been using the most during quarantine. One I haven't used the most because I just got it this week, but I'm super excited about it. And it's phenomenal. And I follow her on Instagram and I love her. So one that I've been using a lot, especially for side dishes is Food Health and Happiness by Oprah Winfrey. This is the new one and I'm going to be making some things out of it this week. It's Eat What You Want um, by Gabby Dalkin. Really excited about this one. This will come as no surprise. I've been using Cravings um, by Christy Teigen. And then this one is one I don't think a lot of you have seen because I found it like in the littlest of boutiques, but it has easily become one of my favorite, favorite cookbooks. And it's Every Day is Saturday. It's such a good cookbook and it's also really, really beautiful. I think I actually picked this up during Vlogmas when Steven and I were like in a little town visiting. Um, 
but I go to it all the time. I love this one. So I'm just gonna sit here, I'm gonna meal plan, and once I'm done meal planning, I'll show you what we're having for the week. So I just finished planning dinner for the week. What I do as I go is I post it, the recipe that I'm gonna be using, if I'm using a recipe. This week it actually ended up that I'm going to be basically only cooking out of this cookbook. So this is the only one that will stay on the counter. I'll show you that in a minute, except I might make um, one side from this book. So for Monday, I'm going to be making this heirloom tomato steak caprese salad with this basil dressing. Then on Tuesday, we're going to do um, chicken pasol. And then on Wednesday, we're going to do chicken schnitzel with arugula salad. So those are those three days. And then for the rest of the week, I'm doing a grilled chicken parmesan um, on Thursday, curry chickpeas and potatoes, which you guys have seen my curry recipe a thousand times on Friday. And then Saturday, I thought we'd do a pizza and movie night. And then Sunday, we're going to grill and I'm going to do ranch burgers, homemade potato wedges and salad. So that is the plan for the week. So now what will happen is the only cookbook that will stay out on my counter is the one that I'm going to be using. Um, so that's the plan. And then what we'll do is this will become lunch for Tuesday. This will be lunch on Wednesday. Um, I'm probably going to make just enough of this. Um, but I try to just like use everything I have and then cross reference the pantry. And I just have a few things that I need to pick up and that's it. So I am just getting back from the grocery store and we are attacking the garage and it looks like my husband already put quite a dent in it. So, have groceries, some flowers, all of that. Look at you. I know, look. This is amazing. I, got, I, don't, know what, I don't know what decorations you want. Um, what do you mean what decorations I want? What day four you want, so you have to pick through this, but. I want, I want to actually take all the Christmas stuff, like those two trees, those reindeer, that wreath, I want to put those down in the basement. Yeah, well, we can't really do a lot in the trash because we don't have any room. Okay. What do you think? Thanks. I don't love what you've done with the place. He likes garbage. Oh, I cannot wait for the mulchers and weeders to come. So we have people on their way to do, well not today, um, but we have them ready to go. They're going to redo all of our beds. They are embarrassing to even show you how terrible they are. But they're gonna do all the weeding, all the edging, all the mulching, all the trimming, and just make sure that everything is like ready to go because right now it literally looks terrible. Terrible. Oh look, he's sniffing. What's in there? What's up there? What's in here? Do you smell groceries? What's in here? What's up here? Ooh, what's this? What's this up here? Was those groceries? Mm. I just got all the groceries put away. Um, I have this old bread and watermelon. So Steven and I are going to take it on our walk with Bubba's and feed the animals. We always try to do that with whatever we have left over. I've had my anti back. Um, sitting on my counters for about five minutes. Here's my deal, friends. If you spray it and wipe it right off, it defeats the purpose. Spray on your antibacterial cleaning spray, let it sit for five minutes, and then wipe it off. So just gonna wipe off the counters, and then we're all set. I bought some peonies at Trader Joe's, and I arranged them with the eucalyptus. I purposely bought the eucalyptus because I knew it would like hang organically, and I love how it looks. Um, some tips and suggestions. I add a cap full of bleach to lukewarm water, not ice cold. Um, it helps cut down on any bacteria buildup in the water. Then I strip all the stems of any leaves that would touch the water and then just arrange them messily because I wanted it to look kind of messy and organic and it's exactly how I wanted it to turn out for, I think I paid $7.99 for the peonies and $4.99 for the eucalyptus, and it looks way more expensive than that. Do you approve? Yes, you did a beautiful job. You could do the flowers for my wedding. You're not getting married, you're too old. No one in their 80s needs to get married. Oh, I love you. We set up our little reading corner, so every morning this is kind of where I've been reading, um, 
and just like having my coffee in the morning. It's a super cute space. These chairs are stunning. Um, that table is from Target. Um, yeah, but Steven and I are in love with it. We're using it all the time. Yeah, I'm just, I, I love how the whole house has looked. I think as I've like transitioned some things out and really stuck with this more neutral palette, it's like really kind of found our aesthetic. Um, the last thing, well not the last thing, we have several things left on the agenda. I think a big thing is for us to uh, take the legs off this dining room table um, so that it is ready for the people who are picking it up. I sold everything to friends. <clears throat> so they're getting a great table with these two farmhouse chairs for the end because we're keeping the gray ones. Danielle is actually taking the buffet. That buffet is beautiful. We bought that at a garage sale and it was in really bad shape. And I sanded it down and painted it this beautiful gray and changed out the hardware. The only thing I never got to is I painted all the way into like right here. And I always had the intention of like getting like a really nice contact paper or wallpaper and lining the insides. But then I just ended up with my board games in there. So it didn't make much sense to do that. Ah. Oh. I'm gonna miss this, but I'm so excited for the new set. Um, and what is most excited for is the new light fixture we're putting in here. It's going to be so good. All right, I am going to get my workout going. If you've been following me on Instagram for two weeks straight, I've not missed a day. I've been doing LecFit. Um, I bought the rebounder, I bought all the equipment. Um, really, you don't need the rebounder. I wanted it because it's so good for my knees and I've had some knee and joint issues, so it makes it a lot gentler. But really, all you would need is like a resistance band, dumbbells, and ankle weights. So, I absolutely love it. It's good music, strength, and cardio. It's just a great workout. It's brought me so much joy. Also, I read a study that jumping on a rebounder or trampoline is also good for stress and anxiety. So I feel like it's the perfect, um, the perfect combo. So I'm gonna get my workout in and then we will touch base. I thought I would share with you guys really quick something that I have been doing in our pantry. Um, at night, like I love to like grab a little snack. So I got these ramekins off of um, Amazon and I love that they're right here to grab and then you can go and like just grab whatever you want and you can like portion control it right away. And I like to mix things. So like I'll like throw some pretzels and some Cheerios and just like mix up a little snack mix and then I have the bowls right here after I do them in the dishwasher. But I feel like if they weren't there, I wouldn't reach for them. So if you have the space, throw little dishes in your pantry and use those for when you're getting a little snack. It'll help you out. So this is what's happening right now. Steven is rototilling this entire bank because he wants to plant wildflower seeds. He's in his glory. He loves stuff like this. It's 4.30 right now, and I'm just getting some things ready for dinner. Tonight we're gonna grill out some organic turkey dogs and maybe grill up a couple turkey burgers so we have them for the week. And in here I just have a couple potatoes that I wedged, and now I have them soaking in ice water for about 30 minutes. This is the key to getting crispy homemade baked fries. You gotta soak them to get all the extra starch out. Then I'll put this on a parchment lined paper, olive oil, salt, pepper, some parsley, some Parmesan cheese, and I'll bake them off at like 425 for 30 minutes, um, and they will get perfect. And about halfway through, I'll flip them over, but that's the key to getting them crispy. Getting ready to read a little bit while those potatoes are soaking, and this is the book I'm going to be starting. It's called Lady Clementine. It's about Winston Churchill's wife, and kind of how she played such a huge influence in him um in his life and how much she actually took part in behind the scenes of everything it's supposed to be a remarkable book it is a novel so it's a historical nonfiction, but it's based off a lot of things that truly happened and are documented so super excited about this and then this is another book i picked up 
One of my goals after this quarantine is over is to start entertaining more. So this book called Celebrate Everything um, just goes through like every sort of party you can think of and gives you ideas and themes and DIYs and all sorts of things. So I'm sure that many things from this book will show up in future vlogs, but I wanted to share those two books with you. In a fit of decluttering, I pulled the wallpaper off the fireplace just to simplify and streamline it. I have two little holes I need to paint over, but I'm happy with it. It just seems a little simpler. Over here, I have the potatoes just drying because now the thing is you have to make sure they're perfectly dry. So I'm gonna let those rest for a little bit and have the oven preheating to 425. Okay, so I was originally going to do um, some Parmesan garlic powder, onion powder, and I decided to just change them up a bit. Um, and I'm going to just add some ranch seasoning to them instead. So I'm gonna throw a little olive oil, toss them, and then add that seasoning, and then line them on this baking sheet. 20 minutes, flip them over, 20 minutes, 425. So totally inspired by Studio McGee, I taped off the fireplace, and I'm gonna paint it all from the floor up this dark, dark charcoal. All right, we're gonna see how it turns out. Hey friends, the fireplace is done and I love it. Steven and I are considering um, getting it retiled, something a little bit cleaner and simpler, but it just looks so good. Like when you enter from the front door, it just looks so sharp and so clean. I'm really happy with it. And I also love that it pulls in like the black lanterns, it just, yeah, it could not be better. And I just had that paint sitting down the basement. And just look at the difference it makes. Ugh, so cool. All right, my friends, it is going on 10.30 Sunday night. And I have an early morning call, so I'm going to hop off here and call it a day edit this at some point tomorrow and get it to all of you. Um, but I hope you all have a fabulous week and take care of yourself, take care of others and be kind. Kindness is free, give to everyone until next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>